Nebraska takes on Baylor and tries to get two games above 500 and stay in the Big 12 North race. According to Bo Pelini, the Huskers sure made things interesting today by trailing the Bears at halftime until an impressive defensive performance in the second half. Things were definitely helped along by an awesome effort from quarterback Joe Gans, who went 32 of 46 for 336 yards and three touchdowns and added 42 net yards on the ground. Possibly the biggest stat, however, was no interceptions this outing. Scoring started on this six-yard pass from Gans to Ryan Hale, which put the Huskers up 7 to nothing. Forty seconds later, Jay Finley for Baylor broke free for a 43-yard score to tie things up. The next Husker drive stalled, and the one who everyone knew would be the one to stop, Baylor quarterback Robert Griffin, took a fourth and one play to the outside for a 47-yard touchdown. That would essentially be it for the Bears as the Husker defense started shutting the Bear offense down. Nebraska finally responded with 5.41 left in the second with an Alex Henry field goal and then three minutes later with an 18-yard touchdown run from Marlon Lucky. Defensively, the Huskers executed its game plan much better to only allow one more Baylor score later in the second quarter as time was running down before the half. The Bears put together a six-play 80-yard drive in a minute 49 to go ahead 20-17. to Don't know what was said during halftime, but it was effective. Nebraska controlled the clock and the Bears for the rest of the game. The defense held Baylor to 0 for 10 on third downs and shut the Bears out the entire second half. The Bear lead held until a minute 15 left in the third when an impressive 12-play 80-yard drive from the Huskers ended with a record-breaking score from Joe Gans to Nate Swift. On this play, Swift broke the all-time receptions record at Nebraska that was held by the legendary Johnny Rogers, who by the way was present. The score put Nebraska up for good at 24-20, but Swift wasn't done yet. Three minutes into the fourth quarter, a double move opened a gap between defenders and Gans found them for a 53-yard score, which was followed up by a rare Henry missed extra point, the first of the season. Nebraska 30, Baylor 20. Nebraska dominates in the second half to hold off an early Baylor lead and wins 32 to 20, and earns a 5 and 3 record in handing Baylor a loss, moving them down to 3 and 5. Lucky led the way for the Huskers on the ground with 85 yards and a TD, but Nate Swift stole the day with 121 yards receiving and two touchdowns. Robert Griffin went for 149 yards on the ground with a score and 134 through the air for the Bears. Jay Finley followed on the ground with 92 yards on 14 carries and one touchdown. Nebraska keeps itself in the Big 12 North race with a 2-2 conference record and will travel to Norman next weekend to face the Sooners. For the Grand Island Independent, this is Denton Cushing reporting.